there were no guests staying. Auntie Jules and Uncle CJ had taken Wolfie for a long walk. And my cousin Jason was going to take Josh fishing. Got the bucket! Right. I was making Captain Dumbletwit puppets with Grandpa. What do you think, Elsie? Captain Dumbletwit to the rescue! Oh, that's great, Grandpa! We were going to do a Captain Dumbletwit puppet show. I was going to be alone with Grandpa all day. Or maybe not. Sadly me. It was Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. I've come to do a bit of spring cleaning to help out. Well, um, we're off fishing, so, uh, good luck, you two. Thank Ooh, you. Bring back a nice big fish. I'll make a fish pie with orange jelly. Yum. <laughs> now, you two are going to have to move out, because I want to clean in here. Look what I've made. That is horrid. No, it isn't. It's a space spider. Space spiders are friendly. Oh, I hate spiders, especially big ones like that. Now, come on. Shoo. Come on. Shoo, shoo. Yes, this was the day when there came a big spider. Soon, we'd got everything out in the sitting room and I'd made some more space spiders for our play. These spiders are fantastic, Elsie. I don't even want to hear the word spiders. Thank you very much. Loretta. This is Sunny Sands. There aren't any nasty spiders here. And these are just pretend. Come on, on the balcony, what? both of you. I need to clean in here. And if you're not careful, I'll suck up your friendly space spiders. <laughs> so, we set everything up on the balcony, and I made even more space spiders, and then we started to practice our play. I'll get you, Dumble Twit. I'll take over the universe. Oh, no, you won't, diabolical Dave, as I'm going to call on my friendly space spiders. Space spiders, weave your webs. We're weaving, Captain, we're weaving. Weave, weave, weave. weave. Well, you'll have to go and weave in the kitchen. I need to be in here, and I don't want spiders mucking up the sitting room. There's even more of them. How many spiders do you need for this play? Go on, shoot. Oh, come on. And soon we'd made even more space spiders. <laughs> the more the better for our story, Elsie. And look, I've made Doojit. Doojit is Captain Dumbletwit's alien pet. Soon, Great Aunt Loretta had finished cleaning upstairs. With a little bit of luck, you won't get it stuck. Suck up the muck. Suck up the muck. In the kitchen, we were making up more and more of our play. So, Doojit, my trusty alien pet, round up the spiders. We're off to save the universe. Spiders ready to go, Captain. We're here, here. Stand by for takeoff, spiders. That's all I ever hear. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Ah, now, I'm going to clean in here, so off you go. Outside, the pair of you, and take all those awful spiders. Oh, really, Loretta, you are impossible. I want you gone by the time I get back. I am going to the... Great Aunt Loretta can't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. Come on, Elsie. At least you can't suck up the muck outside. But just then, we heard... Oh, now what? A spider! A spider on the side of a dustbin lid in the toilet! Oh. It can't be that big, Loretta. Oh, it's humongous! Great Aunt Loretta shut herself outside and Grandpa picked up a duster and went to rescue the spider. It's OK, Great Aunt Loretta. It's more scared of you than you are of it. I very much doubt that, Elsie. Oh, it's coming back! <laughs> Grandpa had carefully rescued the spider in a duster. He put it in a flower pot. Calm down, Loretta. It's not going to hurt you. While Grandpa helped her down, we didn't notice this. The spider jumped out of the pot and ran back into the kitchen. I'm going back in. You come in and get that box 
Selfie. I do not want any more spiders in here. Go on. Out. I'm going to shut the door. Oh. Right. Now perhaps I can get on. We set all our puppets on the table in the courtyard while Great Aunt Loretta started cleaning the kitchen. But suddenly we heard... Oh, not again. It's black! It's black! Or else he's got a friend! Oh, it's there! It's there! Now get rid of it! Oh, I'm going to clear up the guests' bedrooms. Find it and get rid of it! Honestly, there's no way a sunny sand spider is ever going to do any harm to anyone. I suppose we better look for it. We had no idea where the spider had gone. We couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, it's no good, Elsie. I can't see it anywhere. Upstairs, Great Aunt Loretta had cleared some cups from the guest bedroom. She was just about to put them into Upsy Downsy when she saw it. <laughs> The spider scuttled down onto the floor. He must have found his way upstairs. There's only one way to see this spider off. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When my Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of tricks. He can hide in really small places. His magic can make things go. <laughs> And sometimes he dresses up as things. And that was his plan today. Where are you, Grandpa? I'm here. Give me that space spider, Elsie, quick. Now you go upstairs and look after Loretta. OK, Grandpa. Then Grandpa crawled under the space spider. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Watch out, Mr Spider. Here I come. And he scuttled out of the room and up the stairs. And Great Aunt Loretta was still scared. Oh, get rid of it! It's following me! Where did it go, Great Aunt Loretta? Oh, that way. Just then, I saw Grandpa the Spider. I showed him which way the real spider went. And the chase was on. It was OK, Great Aunt Loretta. When he came up... At that moment, I saw the spider go into our mouse hole. And Grandpa followed. I really think you should get down, Great Aunt Loretta. But it's on the loose! It's on the loose! And the spider was on the loose, being chased by Grandpa under the floorboards. I'm coming to get you! He's gone now. We haven't seen him for ages. <gasps> but as soon as Great Aunt Loretta put her foot on the floor, out he came. Ah! Oh, <laughs> And then she did this. <laughs> Grandpa chased the spider out of the room and all the way down the stairs. It's gone, Great Aunt Loretta. I promise you it's gone. I just saw it go. And then Grandpa chased the spider right out of the kitchen door, just as Josh and Jason came home. Wow! What a huge sp... It's me! Grandpa? What are you doing? It's a long story. Oops! Oh, Jason! Oh, and I'm glad to see you! Oh. oh! We, um, we caught a huge fish. Oh, but it wasn't as big as the spider that I've seen today. It was humongous! <laughs> was in the... Oh, um... Have some green glue. That'll calm you down. Oh. oh. Grandpa saw his chance to escape. Oh, you are a good boy. But Great Aunt Loretta saw him. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! No, it's just one of my space spider puppets, Great Aunt Loretta. Oh, that's all very well. Oh, those space spiders, they're as bad as the real thing, if you ask me. Oh, and where is Grandpa when I need him? Gone for a little lie down, I suppose. I quickly got Grandpa out from under the space spider. Put 
split him into upsy downsy and sent him upstairs. I'll go and get Grandpa. Okay. So I went upstairs and got Grandpa out of Upsy Downsy. Cap off Grandpa, quick! Well oh. done for chasing the spider away, Grandpa. I couldn't have done it without your help. And you know what I call that? Teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> Later, Grandpa and I were all ready to do our Captain Dumbledore puppet show. No good. I've had enough spiders for today. I'm off. Aren't you going to stay and watch, Loretta? It's all right for you, Grandpa. You didn't come this close to one today. <laughs> I do like my sister Elsie. Well, sometimes. But I also like it when she goes to a swimming lesson because then I get to play the Captain Dumbletwit game with Grandpa and my cousin Jason. Yes! Three gold galaxies! Today I'm going to win this. Yes, today I'm going to save the universe. Oh, you lot are obsessed with Captain Dumbletwit. Obsessed! Great Aunt Loretta was helping out in the mill because we were expecting a new guest who was going to do a show in Miss Smiley's cafe. Yes, four gold galaxies, hooray! Grandpa, what exactly is our new guest? Is he a pop star? No, he's a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? You know, he can make something talk without moving his lips. Like this. Your turn, Jason. Your turn. Come on. But just then, we heard this. Oh, sounds like Mr. Whoops's car. I ran out onto the balcony. It is Mr. Whoops's car. Come on, Wolfie. I ran downstairs and Wolfie followed. Miss Smiley had borrowed Mr. Whoops's car to bring us our new guest. Wolfie ran to the meadow just as Miss Smiley arrived. Great Aunt Loretta heard the barking and came outside. Oh, hello, Miss Smiley. Oh, hi, Loretta. You're never going to guess who's here. And up popped the ventriloquist, Bertie Beak and his talking sheep. But he wasn't a very good ventriloquist, as you'll see. It's me, Bertie Beak, and I'm Walter, his talking sheep. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this guest. Brilliant. I'm Loretta. We're two of a kind, aren't we, Walter? Two of a kind we are. Yeah, well, if you just like to... Like peas in a pod. Like peas. Well, if, if one of you... You're my best friend in the whole world, Walter Sheep. And you're my best friend in the whole world, Bertie B. Oh, for goodness sake, do either of you ever stop talking? Oh, aren't they hilarious? What else do you do, Walter? Well, I like playing chess. I'm coming to get you. I don't think Loretta's enjoying this. It's not going to end well. Walter has a mind of his own. I can't stop him. But... Just then, Great Aunt Loretta did this. You go away. Walter's hat flew through the air and went down the rabbit hole. Walter's hat? He's gone down a rabbit hole. No! It's not my fault. The sheep is going to nibble me. Let's all calm down and go inside. Come along, we'll find a way of getting your hat back. Right, we need a plan. Josh, you go down to the meadow and wait for me. What are you thinking, Grandpa? You'll see, just go. There's only one way to get that hat back, Jason. And it means I have to be small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. When Grandpa shrinks, he gets up to all kinds of things. His magic makes things go. He can fly in Jason's plane. He can drive in his car. And today, he jumped into my house and flew out of the window. You keep a lookout, Josh. I'll get the hat. Went. Whoops! Oh, <laughs> hello there. It was Mr. Twitch Whiskers guarding the hat. You're not going to move, are you? Oh, please yourself. I'll go the other way. And Grandpa went the other way. 
Ha ha! The hat! Grandpa went to pick up the hat, but Mr Twitch Whiskers didn't want him to have it. Oh, you again. Now look, Mr Twitch Whiskers, I know I wasn't invited, but all I want is the sheep's hat. Then I'll be off. But Mr Twitch Whiskers wasn't happy, so he chased Grandpa. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the kitchen... <laughs> oh, poor Walter, you've lost your hat. My hat, my hat. <laughs> he hasn't lost his voice, has he? Well, he's got a voice of his own, has Walter. I'm so sad. Oh, <laughs> now, let's not get so upset. Oh, I can't stand all this noise. I'm going out to get some fresh air. <gasps> Where's Grandpa when you need him? Gone for a little lie down, I expect. <laughs> but, of course, Grandpa wasn't having a little lie down. Just then, he threw Walter's hat out of the rabbit hole and Wolfie grabbed it. Picked Grandpa up and put him in my pocket. And just in time, because... Oh! Wolfie's got it! Wolfie's got the hat! Give it here, you! Oh. Right! That should shut the sheep up. Here we are. One hat. <gasps> you are a Wonder Woman! Thank you! Thank you so much! I'm so happy! You are a genius! Oh, well... You are my hero. Oh, well, I do what I can. You are the best. Oh, quite a nice little sheep yourself, really. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love you, Loretta. Wow. What do you like? When I see you walking down the street, I know I'm in for a treat I can't help it, I just want to bleat Won't you have a little bar with me? See you walking right by All the stars just twinkle in the sky And my heart goes boom and I cry Won't you have a little bar with me? I don't mind if I do <laughs> Ba, 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 ba We're barring in harmony We better set off to the cafe now. You've got a show to do, boys. You're right. Oh dear. Oh no. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Ooh, it's a good job you won't have to speak then, isn't it? It's all down to Walter. <laughs> but if Bertie's lost his voice, then. Oh. I've lost mine as well. <coughs> this was a disaster. Green goop. That's what you need. <laughs> I quickly had a word with Grandpa. There's only one thing for it. You've got to get me inside that sheep. I'll see what I can do. Luckily, Jason had guessed the plan. We'll look after Walter for you, Bertie. While you drink your green gloop. Green gloop is spinach and sprout shake. Get that down, you. Jason handed me the sheep and Grandpa jumped out of my pocket and on went the hat. I can't drink it. I'll be sick. No need to drink it now. What? I said no need for green gloop. I'm better. Was that you, Josh? No, it's Walter. Goodness me, he really does have a voice of his own. <sighs> that means the show will go on. But Josh will have to do the show with me. Or I'll have no one to talk to. Oh, oh right. that's a very good idea. Well, come on, everyone. We don't want to be late. Come on, Bertie. So off I went with Grandpa 
Grandpa hiding in a sheep's hat to do a show at the Smiley's Cafe. And because we're such a good team, it went really well. When I see you walking down the street, I know I'm in for a treat. I can't help it, I just want to bleed. Won't you have a little bar with me? Bar. Great Aunt Loretta. When we got back to the mill, I managed to get Grandpa out of Walter's hat without anyone seeing, and I ran upstairs. Oh, quick! You made a brilliant sheep! Oh, 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 I couldn't have done it without your help. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork! <laughs> oh, I hear it all went very well, Loretta. And that you found a new admirer. A sheep. <laughs> a sheep that's a whole lot cleverer than you, Grandpa. A sheep with a voice of his own. He's having a little lie down now. It's all that buying, I expect. Ba, 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 ba. Have a little bar with me. Oh, I didn't know you knew that song, Grandpa. Walter sang it much better. <laughs> Sands because it's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. And today there was something very exciting going on at the beach. A very exciting something organised by Mr. Whoops and Mr. Mentor the Inventor. What's all this then? Go on, give us a clue. Well, it's a beach treat for the children. Sounds great. What sort of beach treat? All we can say is it will be. Really, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must go and tell Josh and Elsie. I'm so excited. So am I. <laughs> yes, this was the day of the Brilioso Beach Treat. Uncle CJ came straight back and told us all about it. A beach treat for the children? I wonder what that could be. No idea. All I know is it's going to be brilliant. Mr. Mentor and Mr. Whoops together. An inventor and someone who is always having little accidents. Perhaps I should go and help. Not necessary, Grandpa. You'd probably just get in the way. Why don't you just stay here and have a little lie down? Uh, yes, yes, maybe I will. We both knew what Grandpa was thinking. I want to make sure this beach treat is a success. Mr. Whoops and Mr. Mentor are bound to need some help. Especially from someone small. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks? He runs and jumps about, and I just can't catch him. He can get into things, and he can get under things. But most amazing of all is that his magic can make things go. Like Jason's doing go. Ostrich and makes her fly, which is odd because ostriches can't fly actually. But today he took the helicopter. See you later. Mr. Whoops had set up a Punch and Judy theatre. Oh, bravo, Mr. Mentor. <laughs> oh, Mr. Whoops, you and your little accidents. While Mr. Mentor was helping Mr. Whoops, Grandpa flew onto the beach and landed out of sight. And now, you'll have to explain. I've absolutely no idea what a Punch and Judy puppet show is. <laughs> ah, the treat's a Punch and Judy show. Excellent. 
This is Mr. Punch. <laughs> and this is Judy. Oh, Judy. Oh, <laughs> yes, oh. <laughs> and they have a friend called Joey the Clown. <laughs> And there's uh, Toby the dog next door. Oh, how ridiculous. Oh. And there's a policeman. Oh, a policeman, yes. Oh. And a crocodile. Oh, a crocodile, too. Oh. And there's always sausages. Oh. 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 Where did they go? The sausages nearly hit Grandpa. Where have they gone? I don't know. I'll... Oh, just... oh. Oh. oh, I've lost my twirly whirly badge. Never mind that now. We've got to find the sausages. Grandpa could see that they were never going to find the sausages, so he decided to help them. <laughs> then Mr Whoops turned round. He was about to see Grandpa. Oh, no. So he had to hide in the basket of puppets. Over there, over there. You missed them, Mr Whoops. Oh. <laughs> right, now we've got to get on with practising the puppet show. Uh, did you say we? I thought I was just putting up the theatre booth. Oh, no. We have to make the puppets walk and talk, see? Like this. That's the way to do it. <laughs> That's what Mr Punch always says. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, I'm too shy. No, no, it's impossible. Bubble. But I can't do all the puppets at the same time. I'll have to have help. Mr Mentor had a Wonder Bubble idea. I've suddenly had a Wonder Bubble idea. I'll invent a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Oh! <laughs> It'd be very Wonder Bubble if you could. But you'll need to hurry up, because the children will be here soon for the show! It'll be easy peasy, Ozo. I can invent it in no time at all. No time at all! But Grandpa wasn't so sure. <sighs> Back home, we were worried about Grandpa. You ask. No, you ask. Don't you ask. <laughs> Uncle CJ, please, can we go to the beach early? In case Mr Mentor and Mr Whoops need any help. Please, 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 please Uncle Yes, CJ. good idea. Yes! We'll go in Queenie. <laughs> Mr Mentor was trying to work out how to invent a puppet that would walk and talk by itself. Mr Whoops was warming up and Grandpa was watching them. That's the way it... Oh, no. Too silly. <coughs> That's the way to... Oh, no. Too grumpy. <coughs> That's the way to... Oh, whoops! Oh, that's not the way to do it. I've dropped my glasses in the box of puppets. How could I be so clumsy? Mr Whoops <laughs> put his hand in the box of puppets and felt around. And then this happened. Are you Judy or Joey the Clown? Oh, dear. I really do need my glasses. Oh, oh, oh. I've got it. I've thought of a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Wonder Bubble. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Wonder Bubble indeed. They danced around, very excited. And then this happened. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I've lost my swirly spiral stick. And where's my notebook? Well, don't look at me. We turned up just in time. Now, what about my ruined? Oh, what's oh. up? Are you okay? We were looking around for Grandpa, and then we saw him. You're doing a Punch and Judy show. Well, I'm trying to, but it's all gone wrong. Mr. Mentor was supposed to be helping me, but I have been helping. I have invented a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Wow, that's amazing. How does it work? Forgotten? You can't have forgotten. Well, I have. And it's all your fault. You and your little accidents. It's not my fault. We wanted it's to talk to Grandpa, women. so we had to get everyone out of the way. Please don't argue. Be friends. Sorry. Why don't you go and have a nice cream sundae together? That's a fab ridiculous idea. An ice cream sundae might help me remember my inventions. An ice cream sundae might stop me having little accidents. <laughs> we can but hope. <laughs> so off they went to Miss Smiley's cafe. I'll fix the puppet theatre. It probably just needs banging back together. There's a hammer in the beach chat. Good thinking, Josh. There's nothing else for it. The three of us are going to have to perform this puppet show ourselves. Easy peasy also. Found the hammer. So Uncle CJ fixed the puppet theatre. 
I'll climb into the Mr. Punch puppet and do all his walking and talking. That's the way to do it. And no one will know it's you. Just then, we heard our friends arriving. Oh, wow! I can't wait! Hello, everyone. Are you here for the Brilliosa Beach Treat? Yes! Sit down there. We're nearly ready for you. We took the puppet out of the basket. Grandpa jumped out and got inside Mr Punch. What are we going to do now? Mr Mentor and Mr Whoops aren't here. It's OK. We're going to do the puppet show instead. What? Just the two of you? Okay, so it was time for the Brilliosa Beach Treat to begin. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm Mr Punch. I'm Judy. Yeah. And I'm Toby the dog. <laughs> Now, I want the sausages. Give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> then, Mr Whoops and Mr Mensa came back. What's going on? Who's doing the puppet show? We are. <laughs> oh, lovely sausages. I'm going to fry them up for my breakfast. That's the way to do it. So if you're both here, who's puppeteering Mr Punch? Yes. Who? This was a disaster. Everyone was going to know about Grandpa. Then Mr Mentor said... It's my Wonder Bubble invention, of course. I've invented a walking, talking puppet without even realising it. Yeah. Mr Mentor, you're the most remarkable inventor in the universe! <laughs> Grandpa had saved the day! <laughs> as soon as the Punch and Judy show was over, Grandpa flew back to the mill on the marsh. Took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. And just in time, because we'd come back in Queenie. We took off our life jackets and rushed over to talk to Grandpa. Oh, yes, and didn't we do well, the three of us? It was totally teamwork. Teamwork. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're up and about, Grandpa. Guess what the Brilliosa Beach Street was? A Punch and Judy show. And Josh and Elsie performed it all by themselves. All by themselves? Well, with the talking, walking Mr Punch, that is. Mr Mentor invented him for Mr Whoops, and then Mr Whoops gave him to us to say thank you for helping. Show Grandpa, Elsie. Oh, we can have a game with him later. It's the way to do it. Not bad, Grandpa. Not bad. Puppet's better. 